Grand Marshal. That sounds impressive. It's gonna be like this. the other way. <laughs> Primary. I've got some fresh ballistic data for the MR3s you've got loaded down there. That's him, isn't it, sir? Former Lieutenant Bex Kolos. Gearbox. Been studying your personnel files, haven't you? Affirmative, sir. I thought it best to learn what I could about our targets in advance. We've been doing some testing for Project B and worked out new results for your range wrecks. You want to nudge those MR3s a good 0 0.053 degrees positive lateral to get clean hits on Zone 3. Anyhow, stay sharp out there, kids. Maybe once Project B is complete, we'll have you over for a little demonstration. Primary out. Project B. Does the term have any significance for you, Lieutenant? Do you know what he's talking about? 
No ideas here, Sergeant. Perhaps Marcus Thule would know more. We should question him further. I'll follow your lead, sir. Captain Cormac, I really don't believe <coughs> I can make myself much clearer than... Lieutenant, welcome back, sir. How did your mission go? You know, destroying that giant missile battery that threatened our house, sir? The battery was destroyed successfully, Captain. Well, congratulations. I'd say House Organa really owes you one for taking care of such a dangerous threat. <coughs> yes. Allow me to extend the fondest gratitude of our noble House of Organa for your heroic assistance, Lieutenant. I am Palos Theseus Organa, first nephew to His Highness the Great Duke of Organa. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. It's good to meet you too, sir. Uh, yes. Well, indeed. I am told that you have spent some time in the company of a prisoner detained herein, one Marcus Thule. This man is of no small consequence to our house, as you may well be aware. What is your interest in him? Unfortunately, I can't discuss the details of my mission. Surely you're joking. Lieutenant, I'm certain you would agree that my family has a right to know what transpires in our home. Marcus Thule is telling you secrets which I deeply suspect he would not do without promise of recompense. As I said, I can't discuss mission details with you. Your mistrust saddens me. Are we not allies? Can we not confide in one another? Well... I'm afraid that house business compels me elsewhere, so I must take my leave of you, Lieutenant. But let me make something clear. Marcus Thule attempted to murder the head of our house. He will not be pardoned for his crime. Sorry about that. I tried to calm him down, but to Palos, you're just a stranger buddying up with the guy who tried to kill his family. Palos has a right to seek justice for his family. Yeah? I'd want to put Marcus down, too, if he came after my family like he did the old Duke. I've been watching Marcus since you left. I don't think he's made a sound or moved a centimeter. Still, I'm sure he's been looking forward to your next visit. I'll be out here if you need anything. Goddamn politicians. You've returned. I trust everything was as I described. I have now proven the accuracy of my knowledge, as well as my intentions. Before I share any more intelligence on Gearbox, you must rescue my wife and daughter. Nobody gets rescued until I know what Gearbox is up to with Project B. I have stated the price of further intelligence. Until you rescue my wife and daughter, we have nothing further to discuss. I'll rescue your wife and daughter. Where can I find them? My wife and daughter can be found at our family manor. I'll provide you with the coordinates. They must not be recognized while traveling with you. You'll need to acquire disguises of some kind. I'll see if Captain Cormac has anything I can use. My family and I have a code word for situations such as this. Speaking it will prove that you're acting on my behalf. Tyroven, remember the word well. I'll not have you harming Altana or Valen to gain their cooperation when you could simply speak a word. Tyrovan, got it. Good. If you fail to deliver Altana and Valen to me alive and well, I will never tell you anything. Never. Now go. We will only speak further when I see my wife and daughter safely before me. So I guess that's it then. Nothing for it but to rescue the wife and daughter, huh? At this point, there's no other choice, Captain. Well, probably worse things in the galaxy than rescuing noble ladies, even if they are fools. I've got you some cloaks here, sir. To disguise the ladies, I mean. It's going to be tough getting to those ladies. There's bound to be loads of guards, Imperial and Thule, in every direction. Thanks for the heads up, Captain. 
Anytime. Good luck, Lieutenant. So where am I going up there? Probably best to quick travel to this one and then taxi from there. Right on a Thranta. Big flying reptile. I'm not sure of the physics that keep it in the air by flapping like that. Especially that close to the ground. At least not without, you know, making a huge mess on the ground. and suggested products. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Following this main path up, I'll get to where I need to be. bubble or not, but it, this always keeps, it's always active, not that I'm complaining.
full compound. Good, this is where I need to be. mission yet, so let's just keep killing things and not see anything inside. Thank you. 